everybody, my name is Tanya and welcome to my book haul for February and March. So I didn't have really enough books to make a full book haul in February and I've not really added to that in March so I thought I may as well go ahead and do a haul of them now. I've got five books here to talk about and let's just get into it. The first two are books that I've already read and I've spoken about one already and the other will be coming in my March wrap up and I might do an individual video about these, we'll see what happens, but they're both on a theme. The first of those is We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This one I read as kind of some pre-reading for the Feminist Orchestra Book Club that started in March, which is run by Jean from Jean Bookish Thoughts. Um, and as a complete feminist new, but I thought I would, you know, do a little bit of light pre-reading to get me into it. And, you know, people have spoken about this as being a really good place to start. I did really enjoy this. It, you know, wasn't completely mind-blowing, but beautifully written as to Amanda Negrizia DJ always is. Also, the fact that this is based on her TED Talk, and I went and watched the TED Talk, that uh, is amazing. And I think she captures a lot, um, you know, in her delivery um, that maybe isn't fully captured in the book but in either case I did really enjoy this and thought it was a great place to start when it comes to reading about feminism. The next book is also a really great place to start when it comes to reading about feminism and that is I Call Myself a Feminist, The View from 25 Women Under 30 which is exactly what it sounds. It's just a collection of you know somewhat essays, somewhat just you know little personal snippets um, from 25 young women about you know their view of feminism uh, I have already read this, this was the first book for the Feminist Orchestra Book Club, The March Pick, and I did really enjoy this too. There's been some discussion and I need to join in more of it, um, but that, you know, maybe this is quite basic and people who have read more and are more aware of feminism already didn't take out quite so much from it as people who maybe this is their first text. As I said, I'm a complete feminism noob, so I found this to be quite good. Um, definitely there are, were essays or you know, sections in this that I enjoyed more than others. Um, you know, maybe not a lot of it spoke to me on a personal level, but I did really enjoy it and there are definitely some things that, you know, strike a chord. Again, I'll be talking about this in my March wrap up. So that's the next book that I have <laughs> acquired recently. The next one is something that I was super excited about, something that I purchased as soon as I realised it was back in stock, and from that you might get a little hint. And that, of course, is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier in the gorgeous Fargo Modern Classic Designer Editions, this is something that I had been lamenting not so long ago um, that it was out of print, you couldn't get it anymore, this is the only of the VMC Designer Editions um, of the Daphne du Maurier's that I hadn't owned yet and I really really wanted it. I have actually read this already, I listened to an audio version um, and it was fantastic, maybe not as good as Rebecca but still really compelling and I wanted to own a copy and I wanted to own a matching copy to go with the rest of my Daphne du Maurier collection and now I have it and it's beautiful and just... Oh. Next up is something that I purchased myself with some money that I got for my birthday in January. So, you know, it's been a while, but it, it took me a while to um and ah decide what I was going to get with the money. And then when I saw this, it's just like perfect because it was a little bit pricier. It was still something I probably would have bought myself because of course I would. But it was easier to excuse when it was money that I'd been gifted. You know what I mean? And that is... Tales of the Marvelous and News of the Strange and this is just breathtaking. This is another book that is designed by the wonderful Carly Bigford Smith. So of course it had to make its way into my collection um, but this just sounds fantastic. This is a collection of the earliest known Arabic stories that most of them have been translated into English for the first time. Some of the stories in here have made their way into the Tales of the Thousand One Nights but a lot of these have never been um, published in English before. This has been translated by Malcolm C. Lyons who also does my gorgeous uh, box set of the Arabian Nights um, and I started reading that I was going to do you know a night a night and I kept that up for a while and then haven't touched them for a couple of years so that's the thing. However when I was actually reading it he's done a very good very uh, readable um, friendly translation of the Arabian Nights so I'm sure this is going to be fantastic as well and this is just a work of art on the outside but I'm really excited about the insides too. So I'm going to read you a little bit from the inside flap here. Tales of the Marvelous and News of the Strange has monsters, lost princes, jewels beyond price, a princess turned into a gazelle, sword wielding, statues and shocking reversals of fortune. The end papers are absolutely stunning as well, just gorgeous and it continues around at the back. It's just a beautiful work of art. I love the colour of this and just of course this book was going to come home with me one day. Like. So it will definitely find a place on my Carly Wicked Smith shelves. And so I think I actually got all of those books in February and have 
only added one thing to that in March, but something that I purchased very recently, and that is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This one I picked up after reading A Darker Shade of Magic for the Booktube SFF Awards, and I loved that one. It was just what I needed at the time. I read this before I got to the end of A Darker Shade of Magic, I just wanted it to keep going. But the funny thing is, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in my March wrap up, when I got to the end of the book, I kind of went, oh, this kind of would have worked as a standalone for me and I would have been happy to leave it where it is. But by that stage I'd already ordered the second book and I'm still excited to get to this. I definitely do want it to continue on, but I think the way she ended the first book could have just left it there. So uh, I'm not feeling the intensity that I was kind of 50 pages from the end, but I definitely would like to pick this up soon. It was just exactly what I needed at the time, just fun and fast and action-packed, you know, maybe not great literature, but sometimes that's not what you need. I almost forgot, I also made one other bookish related purchase in March that I thought I would share with you, something that I've got for my bookshelves, and I have to work out exactly where I'm going to keep it, and whether I need to do some rearranging to show it, but however it turns out, I'm very excited to have this guy guarding my shelves, and that is a smog. I got the smog Funko Pop. I haven't been at all interested in these really, but I know a few people who have got the smog one and it's like, I, I want, I want one of those. So I went to a local store who stocks these and picked up a smog and I just, I love him. He's so cute. And I'm still kind of moving around and trying to work out where I'd best like to display smog and where I'd like to best have him guarding my books. I am very excited to have this little guy sitting on my shelves. I think I'm going to have to do a bit of a rearrange and get my Tolkien books into a special area so I can have him stand guard there, but we shall see. The cat is just staring at him. Do you not like this? Her eyes are just following him. Is he looking at you? So he's been sitting on my shelves and I don't think the cat has noticed, but I... I, I I don't think she likes him at all. What's up? It's just beautifully made. I think it's just gorgeous. And while I don't have any real interest in adding to my Funko Pop collection, um, I am very pleased to have this guy sitting on my shelves. So these are the books that I acquired in February March. Let me know what you thought of them, if you've read any of these, or if you have any questions. As always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.